Yo, what the freak's going on? You tactical bastards. Yo. Well, I'm not very tactical, but I'm very, very heavy. I'm fatical. Fatical. There's another word. Uh, got this new tool. It's called the Cat M4. And, um,. My uh, friend P.T. McCain sent it to me, and if you guys remember, I gave him a shout out, I don't know, it was maybe a month ago, and you guys responded very, very well, because you know why? Because he's got a good channel, and I appreciate that. The guy makes good videos, a classy guy, he's not a, he's not a scumbag like me, you don't talk about his balls and, tur and curse and, you know, talk about dingleberries. He's very professional. I like him, he's cool. But at the same time, he's down to earth. I wish I had that talent. Um, this is called the Cat M4. It's for cleaning your AR bolts and your bolt carriers. It's really, really neat. Uh, it's very, very impressive. When I first looked at it, I'm like, what's this for? And uh, with another good thing, it's made in USA. And uh, I really don't know the company that makes it, but I will find out. And I will put the company's, whoever they are, phone number, website under the video so you can get yourself one. I don't really know how much they are. I think they're like 20 bucks and higher depends where you get it but this is really really cool man uh, it's for a, a it's for a quick clean on your bolt in the field uh, it's great for servicemen uh, any of our troops out there in the fields uh, definitely should have one of these and uh, even us civilians this is great for and I'll show you what it's for there's a lot of places where uh, carbon gets trapped on your bolt carrier and your bolt and the little crusties around the edge this gets all that off it is really ingenious and also it holds multi tools it holds a Phillips head screwdriver a slotted screwdriver a socket driver whatever you want will fit in that octagon square okay so let me get set up I'm going to take this bolt apart this bolt carrier apart and I'll show you how it works now my AR-15 because I'm special and I'm, I'm really cool and my man boobs are lactating I have a gas piston AR, so I don't get much much dirt on the bolt, but eventually dirt will work its way back eventually and get on there, so I will need it too. But for you gas piston and what is it, impingement AR dudes with the normal gas system, you will definitely want this and you will need this. Whatever your choice of uh, solvent or gun cleaner is, that's what you use. And uh, the only thing this thing's missing is a tool to get that cotter pin out. They had something on there with a little hook and you can just go boink. This would be like 100% a 10, but I give it a 9.9. .9. So uh, let me get something to, uh, my cotter pin sticks way in there, you know. So I use my little Kimber tool to pull the cotter pin out. Because I don't use it for my gun because I already have something else. That little brass thing. You're getting off subject, dork. Take a cotter pin out. Okay, take the firing pin out. Okay, take your cam pin out. Ooh, you remembered the name of it. The cam pin. And what's good about this cam pin or this setup, I guess all ARs are like this. You can, it only goes in one way, so you don't you can't put the the, uh, the assembly back wrong. And take your bolt out. There's your bolt. And uh, there you go. Now mine's spotless, as you can see. There's not no dirt on it, but we're just going to go through the motions and show you how this thing works. Now, they also make um, a bigger a bigger one of these. You like how like, that's first grade talk? A bigger one of these for the for, for the ARs for the bigger calibers, which I don't know who, what they are, <laughs> but they have one in a bigger size for them too. Uh, this is for uh, you know the two two three five five six. Now, when your when your when your when your rifle's very dirty, if you shot a lot of rounds to it, and you got a lot of carbon and crust, I call it crust. What happens is, what happens is, a lot of crust on your firing pin will build up in this area right in here. It gets caught in this corner, it goes all, and it wraps around. Now, I wish this was dirty so I could show you how it works. But there's a tool on here. It will get in there precisely because it's made for the firing pin and scrape all that crust out 
and you would have to put it through this little crucifix hole, that's what I call it, and there's two sides. There's a side where it's dished in, and there's a side where it's flush. You want to put the side in where it's flush, and you just put your firing pin in there, and you just, you just twist it like this. And it, it will get all that dirt and that groove and crust, build up hard and crust out of there. That's what that part's for. That'll clean your firing pin. I know, it sounds like a oh, big deal. Watch, I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. Now, in this part of your bolt carrier, there's a landing inside there. Inside, there's a landing. And it has a flat surface, and it's the same principle. It has a landing like this, and it has a 90 degree angle, which all the carbon crust gets caught in there. Man, man they should make a tool for, like this for, uh, nothing, I ain't gonna say it. Now, all your carbon and crust gets built in there on a bigger scale. If you look in there, see how it goes in, then it's flat. It goes in, then it's flat right here, and all around the corner of the circle gets crust and build up. And that's what this part's for. It's like a giant screwdriver. You just stick it in and you twist it. And it scrapes all that crust out of there. Very simple. Then when you're done scraping your crust, that's what happens when you eat mini wheats. You get a patch. Spray some figure ballast oil. Shh, spray it out in there. I'll make them sound effects for you. And then you get your little maxi pad here, and you put it on here, and you can stick this in here, like that, real nice and tight, and then polish it off. Polish it off. Like that. Uh, sorry, I ain't got no dirt to show you. Ain't that cool? Not done yet. There's something else cool. There's one more cool thing. So that's all nice and clean. It's just a great tool to have, especially out in the field, right? Now here's another part of your AR-15 bolt that gets all crusty. Okay, right in this area, this area, and all around the ridge, it gets a crusty buildup of carbon. Some, some saying, okay? Now, if you look at this tool here, this way, it's as you can see, come on, let's focus your bastard. Can you see it? Where's the flower? There is the flower. As you can see it, it's beveled and machined and milled specifically. I always have problems with that word. Specifically. Suffering succotash. Snaggle tooth talking bitch. Speci I can't say it. Specifically for that bolt stem. I know it's not called a bolt stem, but that's what I'm going to call it. See how it's dished out and rounded? Now let me show you how that works. It fits in like a key. Wait for the camera to come back. Here it is. It fits in like a key. It goes in here, slides right in. Look at that. Perfect. And what you do, it acts like a friggin' squeegee, like a metal squeegee, and you twist. And you twist and you scrape all the shit off. Just like that. Ain't that cool? That is awesome. What a beautiful tool. Very precision, too. I like it. Okay, and uh, you can also put a uh, patch in there. Let me try that. Put a patch in there like this to give it the. I guess you can't. I thought you could. Gee, you're wrong again. You know what I'm saying. This is how it works. This is what happens when you try stuff on camera. It's so precisionly made. Here, we'll make up for it this way. Wow, it's so precisionly made, you can't even get a patch in there. Okay? But that's, it, that's really, really neat. Okay? It also does that. And... That's it. Here's the other thing I want to show you real quick. Oh, you can get a patch. See that little slotted hole? Put the patch through this hole. 
Now this is for when you're done cleaning, cleaning inside the cylinder here in the bulk carrier I was just telling you. When you're done scraping, you get it and, then, and then you spray your shit on there, then you get this. You can also put it in through this way. There's two ways of doing it. One that I just made up and the right way. But I think the way, I think, believe it or not, this feels good. It feels like it's cleaning it, but I think, really, my own opinion, this way works even better. It goes in there nice and tight, and it really scrubs. But I know that holes for it in case you pull it out and you can't get the patch out. But even if you get the patch stuck in there, you can poke through here and pop it right out. So don't even worry about that. So you can use it two ways. There you go. The armoring channel. You always learn something do something stupid and something new at the same time. Okay. Last thing about it is it can hold any of these bits in this hole. So if I need to really wrench down on something or crank something, I need a screwdriver. As long as I have a screwdriver kit or even a socket. Here's a socket. I don't know why you would need a socket, but that would work too. You could take a little bolt off, or I don't know how you need that on an AR. So I'm sure there's something, but you know what I'm saying, okay? And you have little Allen key bits. It's it's really uh, I don't show stupid things, guys. This is not. This is really something, and uh, very very nice, especially for you. Uh, shut up, especially for you uh, guys with the regular gas gas piston system, the gas impingement. Uh, you really, this is really something you should look into because uh, this really gets dirty with those kind of uh, systems. And that's it. I just wanted to show you that. Hope you guys uh, liked it. And I'll try to find the information on where to get one. Wouldn't that be helpful? All right, guys. See you later.